Update version 50 for the Quest 2 is dropping soon and it's actually got some kind of cool stuff going on. Plus, some pretty awesome games have launched and are launching in the next week. Let's talk about this Quest 2 stuff right now. So first up, version 50 of the Quest 2. Mark Zuckerberg just sent out this blast in this new Instagram thing that he's got talking about what the new update's gonna have, and that includes direct touch interaction inside of the Quest 2 home environments. That means you're now gonna actually be able to interact with these menu systems by touching them, touching, scrolling, typing like it should have been in the first place. So when it drops, instead of having to use the pointers to pick your games or to type in the keyboard, which is a massive pain in the butt, you can actually type with your fingers or your hands now, which is gotta be really cool. Something else is actually a pretty darn big deal is multi-room guardian support. Apparently it's been found inside of the upcoming update by Naya VR, I think I'm saying it right. On Twitter they said that multi-room support, the ability to actually save more than one guardian is embedded in version 50. So it'd be great to have different rooms that are supposedly gonna be able to actually be labeled for what they are. Bedroom, living room, bathroom. Well, maybe not bathroom, but apparently there's only the option to save one room type at a time. Time. So if you want to do two different bedrooms, one can be labeled other and one can be bedroom. Plus the ability to actually mark more item types. So like you can currently mark your desk and your couch. Well, soon you're going to be able to mark things like doors and lamps and other types of furniture and things inside of your guardian. Hopefully that means that when Quest 3 launches this fall and it's going to have color pass through with a lot more people having access to that instead of just Quest Pro, you're going to be able to build out your whole room in AR, VR, mixed reality so that you can interact with things, bring them into VR with you, or just have the ability to know where your TV is so you don't actually punch it in virtual reality anymore. On top of that, apparently more keyboards are gonna be supported in virtual reality with things from Logitech and Apple and some other places like Samsung getting additional keyboards added into the Quest system. Now there could be more to version 50, but as of right now, that's kind of what's been teased. Guardian stuff is really the majority of stuff and that touchable menu system, which I think is great bringing it into VR, but that's not the only exciting thing about Quest 2 right now. We've kind of had a drought for a little while on news and big new games, but there's actually some pretty amazing games that have just launched or are launching in the next week or two, and I want to tell you all about them. First up, if you didn't hear, Drop Dead The Cabin just launched, and it's a blast to play, especially if you can play it in multiplayer. Think of Call of Duty Zombies, but designed and built for VR and not Call of Duty, obviously. Essentially, it is a game where you'll fight in co-op or by yourself if you want, but trust me, co-op is way better. And you upgrade your weapons, you work your way through the cabin to different areas and you get new stuff as the hordes come and you destroy them and then you gotta go to the next wave. It's very, very similar to what Call of Duty Zombies did, but in virtual reality and a little more cartoony than Call of Duty Zombies albeit it's still a blast to play. Another game that just came out is called Barbaria, and it kind of mixes tabletop style gameplay with first person sword and ax and mace and all these different types of content. So essentially you're gonna be able to build your own home environment or your own home level, and you can actually visit other people's worlds as well, and they can visit yours. You set it up with traps and enemies and where your avatar is going to be, and they have to try to invade your world and beat it for coins or for points, and you can spend those points on different things in the game. Plus you can go to other environments and places and fight against monsters, and it's actually a pretty cool dynamic it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy what I've played so far. Now, there is other games coming out, and I'm actually really excited about a couple of them. The Light Brigade I wasn't excited about until I started seeing gameplay. This game is actually launching on the 22nd to coincide with the PSVR 2, so it's an odd day for a Quest 2 title, but it's also launching on Quest 2 at the same time. This is like a roguelite style game with magic and guns, and the concerns that I had with the game in the initial trailer have actually been addressed, as far as I can tell, from the gameplay and the trailers. Initially, when you grabbed onto your gun, your hands disappeared in the original trailer, and I hated the idea of that. Well, that doesn't happen anymore in the gameplay that I've seen, and the rest of the game actually looks pretty darn fun as well. One of them is called Papaya Bang Bang. Now, I don't know if this is pretty cool. I have not played it, and it looks freaking weird, dude, but it is like a slingshot multiplayer FPS, I think, from what I can tell. I think it's multiplayer. It, it, looks, it looks strange. You're seeing the trailer on screen right now, and I wasn't even sure what to make of the trailer, but I'll put a link in the description for you to check out the coming soon page. 
It is weird. Not something I'll probably play. It's really strange. Another game coming out is actually called Mixture, and that comes out next week on the 23rd. That looks pretty cool. You play like an alchemist kind of character, it seems like, and then there's a third-person combat element as you control the combatant that fights against the bad guys. It looks pretty cool, actually. I like this style of game, and so I'll probably check it out, but that's coming out next week as well. And then there's a game called Arcade coming out next month on the Quest 2 in the official store. I think it was on App Lab. I can't remember if I got it on SideQuest or App Lab or I played it on PC, but it was actually pretty fun the few times that I played it. I haven't featured it on the channel, but it's a blast to play. It's kind of like a, an 80s retro type of game, and it's actually really cool. It's kind of a win for people that loved Swords of Gargantua. It's actually coming back to the Quest 2 next month, which is not something I've seen where an online game gets taken down and then ends up coming back, which is cool because I know a lot of people really liked the game and were not happy that the servers were taken down and the listing was actually delisted off of the Quest store. So that's a huge win for people that loved Swords of Gargantua. Unfortunately, though, there's a loss that we got to talk about, and that is the Nerf VR game that was launched last year. You see, it's being shut down already. Less than a year since it launched, and they've already announced that it'll be delisted next month, and then the servers are going to be shut down in August. So if you paid for the game, you can play it through August, but you won't be able to buy it after, I think, March 1st. So... Another game bites the dust. It's an online game. Online games are so hard to build communities. But even beyond that, the studio that actually made the game is being shut down by Hasbro, so there won't be anybody to maintain it, which is the primary reason it's actually getting shut down. That's really all there is for Quest 2 stuff at the moment, but things are starting to slowly ramp up. We should be hearing about the game showcase sometime in the near future. Hopefully it'll be in like May or maybe April or something like that. We'll hopefully get some big game news for the rest of the year from that show showcase plus quest 3 should be launching sometime in the next 10 months or whatever it is it should be out by the end of the year supposedly we should hear more about that come september or october psvr 2 comes out next week i won't be featuring the gameplay specifically on this channel but if you want psvr 2 gameplay from games and information on the system please go and subscribe to bmfvr gaming link in the description i'll be showcasing all the psvr 2 stuff on that channel and keep this channel quest only because as you know this is the unofficial home for all things quests thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.